How cute is that? This was uh, one of my birthday presents from Adriana. How cute is that? Madam Wario, everyone, made these and did such a great job. So she has gaming content and she also has an Etsy shop. So you guys should check it out. Tell them that Adriana and Jules sent you. All right, Spider Guy, what, what was, uh, what's yellow? Okay. The fuck? The fuck? Spider Guy, I thought you said it was yellow. Spider Guy, did you lie to me? I, I should probably time him out for lying to me. Nobody lies to me in my chat. We're gonna dry and glide. All right, kids, don't distract me. Daddy speed run. <laughs> Oh, what a good climb, man. That was good. Oh, what a god. I am so good. And say hi, monkey. And bye, monkey. Nobody asks, how is the monkey? I mean, the monkey looks pretty happy. I think we can assume that. Unless there's any any mean, any alarm, I think we can assume that the monkey's doing well. Pretty chunky and pretty funky. I agree. How many people in the chat have ever simped before? Like, like legitimately simped. The way I see it is just like, whatever makes you happy, you should be proud of it, you know? Like, I think there's something to say about like, if you like seeing a girl be happy and money makes them happy and you've got some extra money and you want to make them happy, sweet. Yeah, as long as it's not fucking weird. Like, there's nothing wrong with simping. When could we buy your gamer girl back? Water. I don't really take baths though. You'd, it'd have to be like anime girl shower water. Yes! Nice. Good timing. So that is an extremely precise jump that I did that completely skips the final dance cutscene. Direct relief only counts as an e-girl if somebody draws rule 34 of direct relief as an anime girl. Then I would allow that to be a simp. But for right now, it's just it's just donating to charity. Who's gonna be the one to do it for charity? What would the fifth dimension look like? Are we gonna get into this? There was some controversy today on my fucking himbo video about fourth dimensional shit. I love the stream that we're actually having an actual scientific conversation about what the fourth dimension is. You guys think the fourth dimension is um, time or do you think it's uh, depth? It's smell. <laughs> I hate it. And then you guys call me a fucking himbo. Fourth dimension is thick. Technically, yes. If the fourth dimension was depth, 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 depth. you would be able to measure the thickness. The sixth dimension. <laughs> It just sounds like you're saying sixth with a with a list. So somebody made the comment saying that like, who's gonna tell Jules that the third dimension is depth? That was like such a fucking himbo comment that I like actually kind of cried a little bit. If you're calling the third dimension depth, then you technically have to call one of the other two dimensions depth as well, because it's width and height. Depth doesn't really equal width because it's a little bit more complicated than that. Essentially, the idea behind the four-dimensional space, why it's so important to cosmetologists. Cosmologists? Cosmetol- No, yeah, cosmetology is, is, is makeup. Cosmologists, those who study the stars. Everything that you're looking at is, you're, you're looking at everything in a second dimension. Everything that you're looking down at from your third dimensional perspective is in two dimensions. In the same way that if you were in a two-dimensional world, if you were like 2D Mario living in that plane, you would not be able to see anything more than one-dimensionally. Like imagine if something landed, like three-dimensional landed on a two-dimensional plane. Like all they could be able to fathom, you know, one plane of that three-dimensional object. Then if that two-dimensional object is brought into three-dimensional space, then suddenly it's aware, it can see all of these three dimensions that it couldn't otherwise do. But it's completely out of the experience of something that lives on a two-dimensional plane. Therefore, the fourth dimension is that just extended from our plane. On a flat blackboard, we can't draw a three-dimensional object. We can only draw it like the squares and then you connect them from like the edges or whatever. Obviously, it doesn't look like every single line is the same distance, but they ha they have to be. For it to be a cube, every line has to be the same distance from each other to be a, be a cube and every angle has to be a right angle. You guys follow me? So now the fourth dimension would be a cube where there is another dimension of that going off of it where each line is still a right angle. In the same way that a two-dimensional object would be considered like a square is a two-dimensional object, a cube would be a three-dimensional object. A four-dimensional object would be a tesseract. Now, when you see a tesseract represented, you're actually looking at like a projection of what it would look like in the same way that we draw a cube on a set on a two-degree plane. When we portray a tesseract, we literally can't fathom what a tesseract would really be. We can just project it in the same way that that would be a thing. How can I talk about theoretical physics while talking about banjo? I'm not really playing banjo very well, and I'm also not explaining theoretical physics very well either. <laughs> Carl Sagan has a really good way of describing it, where imagine you live on Flat World. All the people are happy. 
They all exist. They go inside their flat houses. The only thing that people know of is right and left. They don't know anything about up and down. That would be three dimensions, right? We can think about the fourth dimension, but we can't represent a four dimensional object. We're stuck in the sad flesh prison of the third dimension. The idea that time is the fourth dimension is kind of like, if we're like kind of measuring things from depth, width, height, length, depth being, you know, the combination of length and width or length and height, whatever you want, because depth is like two things at once. We would describe the fourth dimension as the measure of time, as, as how that object exists over, you know, time. Yeah, I'm sick of this three-dimensional flesh prison as well. I want out, man. I want a four-dimensional flesh prison. At least there'll be like some good alliteration there. What's so interesting about this is like when we're, when we're thinking about like, if you're on a two-dimensional plane and your full scale was a three-dimensional universe, you would stand on one point continue on and eventually reach that point again if it was a sphere. But if you were in a two dimensional plane, you would have no way of being able to theorize that three dimensions exist even though they do. If you only existed on a two dimensional plane where you can't see up or down, you would be walking on a sphere, walk all the way around it, return to your point and not realize, like be like, why? How, like, how did that happen? That's why, then you can start to deduce, well, okay, what if there is another dimension that I just can't see? you can deduce that that third dimension exists. That's what we do with the fourth dimension. When we say that the universe is expanding, space is a sphere, it could be a four dimensional sphere. We in three dimensions can travel and journey through space and eventually just return to the same spot, but the universe is actually a four dimensional object. Call me a himbo one more fucking time, assholes. I'm in here fucking talking theoretical physics. Thank you so much for the 100. Yeah, this has been my TED talk. What if the fourth dimension is Microsoft Word? I mean, that makes sense. I mean, how else can you describe Clippy? Clippy Maybe as a four dimensional person, how else can it answer every question you have? I don't really know how the four dimensional principles work with the black hole phenomenon, but I imagine it does. Uh -oh. Yeah, that was weird. I, I couldn't get out of that. Okay, we got everything moving. Let's do another one. Could you use the fourth dimension to eat your own ass? I mean, technically, you could use the fourth dimension to see specifically how much ass you could eat. If you can visualize three dimensionally, height width and length. In a four dimensional world, hypothetically, you can see height, width, length, and depth, which is kind of what I was trying to describe, where you could literally see through things, kind of like an x-ray vision. When somebody said like the thick dimension, like thick dimension, I actually laughed because that's like, yeah, you would literally be able to see the actual quantitative thickness if you could see in a four dimensional world. 24 faces. That's actually another great way of putting it. A square has like two faces. So a cube would have six faces and then that kind of just exponentially rises to, to 24 faces on a tesseract. What's your opinion on Clinker's head nut? I think it's pretty cool. Is that like weak nut? I feel like head nut would be the opposite of a weak nut. It's like a fucking alpha nut. I feel like like the opposite of a weak nut isn't just strong nut. It's like a beast nut. The nut of a wild beast. Nut two. <laughs> it's just nut two. Electric boogaloo. Electrified nut. A four dimensional nut, dude. In all directions. <laughs> Including directions you didn't, you can't perceive in this three dimensional realm. Craziest shit happened today. I was, um, I was hanging out in Elspeth stream. She was a voice actress for Cadence in um, Cadence of Hyrule, Crypt of the Necrodancer. She was streaming Mario Kart today. And guess who came into her chat? None other than the voice actor of Bowser. The voice of Bowser came into Elspeth's chat. It was just like, hey, just wanted to come and say hi. Say thank you so much for playing our games. It was super wholesome. He was saying how him and the um, voice actress for Toad are like best friends, <laughs> which is so wholesome. Just imagine Toad and Bowser just like Biffles, dude. It was so wholesome. I told Adriana that and she cried. Imagine experiencing a Blumpkin in four dimensions though. Four dimensions of pleasure. Yeah, if everybody in this channel edits for me, then we'll have videos all year. It'll be great. I'll just pay you all in exposure. You work for two feet picks. Hey, that's funny. So does Cole. Why are they still not in your inbox? I was hoping you wouldn't say anything. So Cole has just outed my scam. Unfortunately, there's no feet picks. I'm sorry guys. The truth is I actually don't have feet Get in the box that and they, they like run with it in that way ah, fucking, uh. That was not what I tried to do I'll be right back